Gonna steals toy store for children. What are you? Oh, Mr. Sunderman, I was just about to call you on account no of- No time for your colorful descriptions of horrific violence today, Gunner. Things are moving faster than anticipated and I need to move the end game up to tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's a lot to get done in a day. I know, I know, but it can't be helped. Audrey's asking questions and even Gabby is getting suspicious. No, no, it has to be tomorrow. All the money is in place and I've paid off everyone I need to. Can you get your part done in time? Oh, sure. No problem. Excellent. But I ain't gonna. Excuse me? These are bad things you're telling me to do, Mr. Sunderman. Really bad things. Yes, I know. And you're a bad person, so it works out. Not no more. I'm on the side of the angels now. And you're about to be on the side of the devils. On account of you're about to be dead. Are you trying to turn on your television? I have so many remotes, I lose track of them too. I hired someone to work them for me, but uh, I lost him in the sofa cushions. And now I just watch the channel guide scroll by. It's very relaxing. Or it would be if it weren't for this awful smell coming from my sofa cushions. I don't get it. You should be barbecued bits of billionaire by now. Oh. Is this your bomb? I diffused this an hour ago. You found it? Well, of course I found it, Gunner. I'm a very wealthy man. You think you're the first person to try to kill me? I never sit down without checking to see if my chair has a bomb duct taped to the bottom of it. Well, ain't that a kick in the pearly whites? Uh, you mind staying put for a while, Mr. Sunderman? I'll come over and shoot you in the face. But I got my gun mixed in with the water pistols, so I gotta sort that out first. Gunner, you and I have worked together quite well for four years, and you have never shown the slightest sign of being unhappy with our arrangement. What's changed? I'm a father now, Mr. Sunderman. Oh, God. Elvin's my kid. But you already knew that, didn't you? Gunner. You knew you and me was practically related, and you still treated me like garbage. You and I are not practically related. You're Elvin's uncle, I'm their dad but you got me running errands and doing your dirty work and calling you Mr. Sunderman like we ain't nothing to each other. We ain't nothing to each We aren't nothing to We aren't anything to we. This is ridiculous. Gunnar, you are my employee, nothing more. I'm not going to start treating you like family just because 24 years ago you did revolting things with my revolting sister-in-law. Hey, don't you run your mouth about the mother of my baby. Just follow the plan, Gunnar, and I'll forget all about this little mutiny. Nothing doing, Eddie. I'm a daddy now. I got to set a good example. Being a father doesn't mean you have to be a good person. I'm a father and I'm awful. You don't want to be someone your daughter can look up to. That's your business. But Elvin believes in me and I ain't gonna let them down. Find yourself another flunky. I don't have time to find another flunky, Gunner. I'd say sorry, but I ain't. This was supposed to be a distraction for Elvin, not for you, you nitwit. I don't get what you're saying. You are not Elvin's father. I told Elvin you were because they were getting too close to the truth and I thought this would get them out of my hair for a while. I didn't expect you to turn into a paladin of righteousness just because you thought you knocked somebody up. You're saying you didn't know I was Elvin's dad? I'm saying you're not Elvin's dad. You're saying, you saying I'm Elvin's dad and me for reals being Elvin's dad was just a coincidence? No, you are not Elvin's father. <laughs> nice try, Eddie. But Viv told me herself that I was the proud papa. She did? I don't know what game Vivian is playing, but she's lying to you. Viv would never lie to me. Think about what you just said. Okay, yeah. I heard it as I was saying it. But she ain't lying about this. The timing's right. We was together nine months before Elvin was born. You think you were the only man Vivian was with back then? Come on, Gunner. Think about it. Elvin doesn't look a thing like you. Nobody in this town looks like who they're related to. That's, that's a good point, actually. All right, I didn't want to do this, but you forced my hand. I can prove you are not Elvin's father. I'm sending you a file. I don't suppose you know how to read a DNA test? Oh, sure. Uh, I've had to steal plenty of those from evidence lockers, so I've picked up a thing or two. I don't see nothing here about blood spatter, though. It's a paternity test, Gunner. You have my paternity tested, Daddy? How'd you get your hands on my cake batter without me noticing? Read closer. Oh. So, you see... Yeah. 
Yeah, I see. So there'll be no more nonsense about you becoming a better person? Not much point now. Elvin ain't my kid. Who've I got to impress? My life's empty and meaningless. Exactly. So you'll proceed with the plan as we discussed? Whatever you say, Mr. Sunderman. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Gables. This has been quite illuminating. I'll have those Walmart store cards out to you right away. Oh, I have another call and I really must take it. Goodbye. Hello, Gabby. Vivian, I have to- Quite the coincidence you calling now. I just spoke with someone who knows your brother. Who? Oh, a certain Mrs. Gables, the zoning board commissioner for Port Sunrise. I've been calling other cities who've renovated their waterfront district in recent years on the off chance that it would help me to understand Edwin's plan better. Do you know what I found? Your precocious little brother has been trading sex for classified city planning documents. Oh, I doubt Griffin saw it that way. I'm sure he would have had sex with them whether they gave him the documents or not. I'm not judging. I'm trading counterfeit gift cards for the same purpose. It is interesting, though, that Edwin would be so desperate to acquire other cities' waterfront zoning information this late in the process, almost as if he had no plans of his own. Or too many plans. That's what I'm calling you about, Vivian. I just spoke with Edwin and I learned a lot. You're calling me to share? Without prompting, I don't need to threaten or blackmail. Is it my birthday already, Gabby? No, it can't be. Elvin hasn't yet given me their present of 40 hours of volunteer work done in my name. Vivian. That's not a real present, Elvin. I always tell them. You've given me nothing. Again. Never have children, Gabby. They'll only break your heart. Now, what do you have for me? Eddie's been telling different investors different things. Some think they're buying into a legitimate tourist attraction, but the rest? Vivian, it sounds like Eddie's gotten involved with some real shady characters. Shadier than Edwin himself? They must be truly vile. Griffin said he thought Eddie was asking him to do unethical things. And I didn't listen. Eddie's done so much for me these past four years. I was convinced he was a good man. Yes, yes, you're having a moral crisis and I'm sure it's very interesting to you. But what else did you talk to Edwin about? Does he know I'm on his trail? No, he asked me if I had spoken to anyone else about the night of the accident and I lied. I lied right to his face. Oh, it's fun, isn't it? Now, Edwin asked you if you had spoken to anyone else. That implies that you did speak to someone. Audrey. She knows I had something to do with her mother's death and that Edwin covered for me. I think she's digging into the waterfront project too. Hmm. If it were only Audrey, I wouldn't be worried, but she's working with my Elvin. I'll have to move quickly if I want to solve this puzzle before they do. I need to know more about who these shady investors are. I could ask Griffin. If I tell him I was wrong about Eddie, he'll help us. Hmm. Isn't your brother an idiot? No, No, I wouldn't say that. But he isn't what you'd call intelligent. No, no, I wouldn't say that. Best leave him out of it then. He's too close to Edwin. He might give something away. No, I've spent the last 24 years building up my contacts in the criminal community. I'm sure that I can find a lead on my own. I can see if I can get some names out of Eddie tomorrow. He's coming by the bar. Edwin's coming to the waterfront? He and Audrey are flying down. Flying? Where on earth will they land? Uh, He said they do a water landing. Edwin has a jet, Gabby. If it lands in the water, it's not taking off again. Ah. I don't know, maybe he bought a seaplane? Perhaps. I'll add it to my list of curiosities that require investigating. I'll make the Distant Falls Airport my next stop, right after the blowhole. 
the blowhole. Why are you going there? Were you aware that Edwin purchased it and then closed it immediately following that fateful night? Yeah, of course. Didn't I tell you that? You did not. Well, I told you he did a lot of things to protect me. Yes, out of the goodness of his heart. Well, now that you know his heart has no goodness in it, his reasons might require revisiting. I, I, I can't go back there. Oh, good heavens, Gabby, I'm not looking for a sidekick. You stay in your bar and have your meeting with Edwin tomorrow. Let me know if you learn anything that's useful. I will. And be careful, Gabby. Edwin Sunderman is a viper. If he suspects you, you could be in danger. Are you worried about me, Vivian? How dare you? Worried? About the woman who kept the truth about my sister's death hidden from me for four years? Absurd. You're a tool to me, Gabby Stockhart. Nothing more. Sorry. You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Stop flirting with me. Goodbye, Gabby. I have all the pieces now, Edwin, and the picture that's being revealed is, no. I have all the edge pieces now, Edwin, and soon I'll, no. There's a lot of blue sky in your jigsaw, Edwin. No, this metaphor has gotten completely away from me, but you won't, Edwin, you won't. Thank you.